Who knows anything about basketball in this room? Raise your hand. What's a point guard do? <laughs> Dribbles the ball up the court, runs the offense, right? Leads the team. Chicago Bulls won how many championships? Six or seven, who cares? Now you're gonna come be a point guard for the Chicago Bulls, but here's your job. You may not dribble the ball up the court. You with me? You're an NBA professional point guard. You do not dribble the ball up the court. You do not run the offense. You with me? I need you to play defense on whoever I tell you, not necessarily the point guard. Now wait a minute, I'm a professional point guard and what you just told me is I don't run the offense and I don't bring the ball up the court. Isn't that the very definition of what a point guard does? Who can name in the point guards on the Chicago Bulls? Steve Kerr. Back up. Ron Harper, right? All these guys had to accept a certain role for that team to be successful because Michael Jordan, the scorer, had to have the ball in his hands and start the offense for him to get into the rhythm of the offense. It was not best for the team for the point guard to be a point guard. How about Dennis Rodman? Don't shoot. Six foot ten power forward. Don't shoot. That was his role on the Chicago Bulls. How did Phil Jackson get Dennis Rodman, one of the most ego-driven humans on the planet Earth, to accept the role of don't shoot? If you're two feet from the basket, don't shoot, unless you can dunk it which is what Phil Jackson says in speeches that he gives that he used to tell Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman accepted that role, why? Best for the team. Best for the team to win. Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant won three championships and then they said, we're tired of accepting our role. I want to be the leader. No, I want to be the leader. And at some point they said, I don't care about winning anymore as a team. I will implode or I will separate. You guys see how it works in athletics? It's very obvious there. Now think about your workplace. You got guys on the team that forget accepting their role, Eric, right? That's hard enough. But now do I know where my role starts and ends? High school, I accept my role. Will, you convince me I accept my role. I'll subjugate myself. I'll step up, whatever you want me to do. You with me? That's high school. Now let's go to college. Have you defined for people on your team where their role stops and starts? I call it boundary spanning. Because where we get in trouble in the workplace is when people are unclear about the transitions or the hands off, handoff of where their responsibility stops and starts. So if you're a leader of a team and you got a team that's getting through their conflict stuff pretty good and they're starting to be active, stay with me. We never diminish conflict. We can't. They're human. Right, Dustin? It's not a possible goal. So we're never trying to diminish or dampen conflict. We're trying to model that we can handle actively and appropriately. You, we're going to talk about that more later. You with me? I got a team that's doing this pretty well. They can disagree. Here's how you know you're on a high-performing team and they're through storming. How many of you are on a team that's been intact for like 10 years? Show of hands. Anybody? How about five years? A team that's been intact for five years? You got a guy on your team look at you, the leader of that team? You got a guy on your team going to look at you? That's crazy. It's never going to work. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about? High performance. No BS, no sitting on my hands, no wondering what you're going to do to me. I can look you right now and say, that's a stupid idea. What are you thinking? That's appropriate storming, believe it or not. Done respectfully, of course. Now, norming. Where do I stop and where do I start, right? When I get through that role clarity and that transition clarity series of conversations, now and only now, now and only now, can I drive the car. Now I'm 16. Now I can be expected to perform.